4.30. Uh, recycling is getting harder and harder since China stopped taking a lot of materials. Styrofoam can be one of the most challenging things to recycle because few facilities will take it. But now a company in Tigard is using a new process to try to turn it into something that can be reused. COIN wants to know how it works. Our Jennifer Dowling is here now to show us more. Jennifer? Good afternoon. Well, this is exciting news for those of us who are trying to be green because this company takes in just about anything made out of styrofoam. That includes these hard recycle food containers, meat trays, and of course, packaging that's used in electronics like this, stuff that nobody else will take. I've been saving it up. <laughs> People with cars full of styrofoam have been making the pilgrimage to the Agilix recycling lot. I work at the outlets in Troutdale. So every couple months or so, I drive it all the way over here and recycle it. While workers collect foam outside, inside they have the power to process 10 tons per day. It's the first full circle uh, recycling loop in the world, we believe. VP of operations Brian Moe says they start by sticking it in a machine that pumps out something that's easier to handle. The first step is we densify it into polystyrene bricks. The bricks are then chopped to bits. We shred it so that we can then handle it better through conveyors. Then it's sent to another machine that heats it and turns it into a liquid to ship to customers. So it can go into the back end of the manufacturing of peanuts or packaging or food containers. Or Mo says they probably take stuff other places don't touch. These are seedling trays that farmers use to plant their, their seedlings. Even school lunch trays. And so you can see there's a bit of food contamination. Again, our process, we can actually uh, recycle it, whereas previously that would not be recyclable. Mo says the U.S. recycles just 1.3% of its polystyrene. So this plant is a step in the right direction. Recyclers say one of the best things, less guilt for the green at heart. We just had to throw it in the garbage until I heard of this place. Yeah, and that kind of hurts my feelings a little bit. <laughs> and I treasure the earth, and I think we need to respect it, and we all need to do our part to try to preserve it. And it's not just styrofoam that they're taking in. Also, these plastic cups that have a number six on them, they'll take those too. And those plastic clamshells that come with your to-go dinners that you have no idea what to do with, well, they take those too as long as they have that number six on them. Back to you. That's great news because all the stories we've been doing recently about how you can't recycle like you used to be able to. So